know, it's no coincidence that we've engaged young people in our race. It's no coincidence that I was asked to speak at Chabot College this week and to be the keynote speaker on democracy and the law. It's no coincidence that to that presentation I brought kids from the James Logan High School Drama Club who enacted a play about honesty and integrity and debate. And they talked about honesty and integrity with regard to what they expect from leadership at the highest levels of government. So if you're in Washington, D.C., which is the highest level of government, I have a great deal of uh, respect for President Obama because he's an honest man, he's a family man, he's done great things for our country. I do not have a whole lot of respect for Mitt uh, Romney. I can barely see his name. <laughs> you know, and that's because, in my opinion, he's profited from public service. And he's done what he's done on the backs of working people. Right. Yeah. Right. And that's not what being an elected official is all about. It's about leadership. It's about putting the right foot forward. It's about doing the right thing and standing up morally, socially, politically, making yourself an example that young people can follow. There's 38 people, 33 kids out there walking right now. My main concern is their safety crossing those streets for our campaign. A lot of them are in high school. Their parents gave them permission to, to go out there and walk. They gave them permission because they're walking for District 2 and for Richard Biden. Okay? They made that conscious decision. Most of them come from St. Anne's Church. And a lot of them come from Our Lady of the Rosary Church. These are good people who want to see a bright future for District 2. And they're going to do the right thing. They're going to vote their conscience because they feel strongly about those issues that are important to them as families. Thank you.